Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Saturday, April 16th, 2022, and it is an absolutely perfect day to do some fishing. It's about 70 degrees, there's very little wind, water temps are about 60, the river is a little bit high and a little bit murky, which is what I like. So I had to make the run up here to see if I could score some spring smallmouths. I'm gonna start by throwing around the old Kitek on the jig head, and we're just gonna see what happens. In addition to the smallmouths, the river was recently stocked with rainbow trout, so there's a few of those around. Plus, of course, this river tends to give up some miscellaneous goodies when you're not paying attention. So at the end of the day, who knows what's going to wind up putting a bend in the rod. Ooh. Definitely getting hits out here. Don't know what they are. Oh, I just saw one. I think they're trout. I think there's a bunch of trout in here. You know what? I didn't come here to catch trout, but if there's a lot of trout in here and I've gotten several hits, I'll play with them for a while. Why not? All right, guys, got a uh, Silver Panther Martin tied on and I'm just gonna fling it around and I'm gonna see if the trout want to play with it. There he is. I was just letting it trail in the current. Yep, little rainbow. Okay. There's fish number one on the day. Not what I'm after, but if these guys want to play, that is okay with me. Hook is out. And back he goes. There we go. Another rainbow. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Get in there. This one's a little bit smaller than that last one. If he stops rolling around, I'll get the hook out. Come on, buddy. There we go, okay. He's all set. Well guys, for the most part, it looked like those trout were just kind of chasing that spinner and slapping at it. So I don't know how aggressive they really are. So I took that off and I switched up to a little Ned rig. I've caught trout on the Ned rig before, and this might put me in better position to get some smallies as well. I don't know if these trout have switched over to eating stuff off the bottom yet. They might still be looking for pellets, but it's worth a try anyway. I was getting hits on the spinner, but they just weren't hooking up. And if they're not hooking up, it doesn't matter how many hits you're getting. Better change up to something else. There's a fish. Ooh, that looks like a small mouth.
It certainly is. He's not bad either. Get up. Yeah. All right. That's what I'm really here for. Stocked rainbows are fun, but this guy's what I came here for. Got it pretty solid in there too. Let me just grab my pliers. All right. Not too bad, maybe about a pound plus pre-spawn. Nice, hope I get a few more of these today. Oh, there's one. Boy, he felt like he might have had it in his mouth for a while. Didn't really feel a hit. It felt like it was scraping along the bottom, but I think it was just this guy chewing on it. There we go. Rainbow trout on a Ned rig. Where's the hook at? There it is. Oof. Easy pal. Oh, you're all wrapped up in there now, huh? Okay. Hook is out. There he goes. Oh, it looks like switching over to the Ned Rig might have been a good choice. It's paying early dividends so far. Well, guys, I was getting bit on the Ned Rig, but I lost four of them along with three liters and was getting a little frustrated. So I switched back over to the swim bait. Hopefully I can stay out of the rocks with this and maybe get a bite or two. We'll see. There we go. That's a small mouth, little guy. Uh, boy, he inhaled that, look at that. That's a four inch bait and there's maybe a quarter inch sticking out of his mouth. <laughs> All righty. Hit that way on the other side in that band of uh, muddy water. There's a canal upstream that is pumping muddy water in along their shoreline and it's just creating this line of muddy water going down. And that one was right in the middle of it. All right, another lure change. Went with the black curly tail grub on the jig head. I was getting a lot of bites on that dark colored Ned rig, but of course I was losing them all. So maybe this thing will help me get a few more bites given that it's dark colored plus i can keep it off the bottom so i won't lose as many in theory you never know with this river sometimes it just eats every lure in your tackle box and there's nothing you can do about it there we go fish on i think this is a big one I think we got a nice fish on. Oh, we do. We do. And I thought it was a big small mouth, but it is not. It's a rainbow. He's just staying down in that current.
He's just staying down in that current. And you know what? I'm just gonna let him. Cause uh, I don't know if I can get over anywhere to land him. I'll try. I'll see if I can go over this way. I'm just keeping pressure on him, letting him do what he wants at this point. All right, we're in some quieter water over here. All right. Let's bring him in. That's a big one. That thing is legit. It's over 20 for sure. I'm not gonna be able to measure him because I got no place to lay him down. Yeah, look at that. All right, keep her in the water. All right, you know what I'll try to do? I'll try to, try to do the old rod length. So we'll just measure. Uh, I can't get her to lay straight, but. Okay, yeah, so we'll get her. So it's a couple inches above the St. Croix logo. So we'll measure to there. It won't be exact, but it'll be close. Keep her head in the water. How, how are you hooked? And you certainly got a mouthful of that jig. Turn her over. No, she didn't like that. I didn't think she would. Did it come out? I think it might have come out. Unless... Yeah, it came out. Okay. Made my job a little easier. All right. Let's see if I can lift her up here. Get a good look at her before I turn her loose. Whoops, nope. She was having none of that. There she goes. Whew, all right. Well, that was fun. That's what she ate. Black jig. She bent out the hook a little bit too. I very easily could have lost that fish. Wow. All right, so I got my measuring tape out. Let's see about how big that fish was. She stopped about right, about right there. So I would say that fish was about 21. Probably about somewhere between 20 and 21. That was definitely my biggest trout of the year so far. Well, this run right here has resulted in the majority of my bites. So I think I'm just gonna camp out here for a while. Maybe go through a couple of lure changes if need be, because there are clearly fish in here and wanna milk this place for all it's worth. All right, well, that last hole dried up even after a few lure changes, so I left that behind and made it up here to this run and I've seen at least three other people come through here. So this is definitely used water. So I switched over to the little tube jig because if these fish have been pressured, I think this is going to require a light touch. Well, 
Well, didn't get a single bite out of this run. I guess the guys who came through here before knew what they were doing and cleaned it out. But I've still got a couple extra hours of daylight left, so uh, I think I'm going to change spots and see what's going on in other parts of the river. So sit tight, and I will see you in a couple of seconds. Well, here we are at the next spot. Going to see if I can't pull out something big like a walleye or a striper out of here. I've already caught my big fish for the day, so I don't really care what happens next. I'm kind of playing with house money at this point. And I'll just let things happen as they do. Is that a koi? Dude, there's a koi right there. Look at that. You don't see many of those in this river. Well, other than that koi and a few suckers, I haven't seen much of anything going on here. This is the spot where if they're here, you'll know pretty quickly. And I, I just don't see it happening here today. So I don't think I'm gonna waste any more time here. I'm going to hit probably one last spot before I call it a day. So sit tight and I will see you in a couple of seconds. Well, here we are, the ultimate feast or famine spot on the river. Good old Desperation Falls. Uh, but far from being desperate, I'm here because I really don't care what happens the rest of the day. Like I said before, I caught my fish. Everything else is just a bonus at this point. So let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can get lucky again. The sun is definitely on its way down. I figure I got maybe about an hour left. Wow, I'll tell you, without that sun, it is starting to get a little chilly out here. Especially since the wind is starting to pick up a bit. It might not be darkness that drives me out of here. It might be the cold. Although if the bite's on, I will tough out the cold. Fish on. I was just bringing that white Kytec along the wall and it just disappeared. All right, nice little bonus largemouth. All right, back he goes. Well guys, I think I'm gonna end it right here. It was a fantastic day of fishing, if only for that big rainbow trout that I caught. I mean, once I caught that, uh, my day was made and it didn't really matter what else happened after that. So I hit up a couple of high risk, high reward spots. Those didn't really pan out, but that doesn't detract from the fact that it was another amazing day of fishing on the old Raritan River. And with the water temps continuing to warm and those fish getting more and more active, I think it's only gonna get better. Thank you all so much for joining me and I will see you on the next adventure.